Hi everyone, I'm Nathan from Crazy Amazing Designs. And if you're a brand new user of ProPresenter 7, this might be your first introduction to themes. Even if you have used ProPresenter for a while, you might still have some questions about themes. So in this video, we're gonna take a look at themes and templates and see how we can best use them to operate ProPresenter 7 easier and smarter. In ProPresenter, when we apply templates to slides, we tend to talk about themes. If you really look at ProPresenter though, themes are just folders that hold templates. So really, themes are a group of templates, and templates exist to help us quickly apply a style and formatting to slides. Pro 7 has a bunch of pre-built templates that are incredible. These can be applied to sermon notes, lyric slides, and will instantly change the layout, font size, text format, and color of your slides. You can even add a graphic, like I've got this uh, lower thirds here with the green on it so that we can add live video behind the uh, graphic once we take the green out. So there are two ways to apply a template. We can right click on a slide, go to themes, select the theme folder and select any kind of template we would like. These look kind of neat. Let's do this one right here. Perfect. So it applied it to our slide or we can select. I'm just going to select this uh, theme here. All right, we can go to the theme in the top left corner, select a folder and select a different style. Awesome. To select multiple slides at the same time, you can either hold command and then click on your slides on a Mac, or you can click just beside the frame of the slide and drag onto the slide. When selected, slides will become highlighted in blue. And once the slides are highlighted in blue, any template you apply will get applied to those slides only. If we have no slides selected in blue, then a template will be applied to all the slides. When we apply a theme to the whole song, use the theme selection in the top left corner of the interface. If you right click on a specific slide and go to themes and try to apply a template from there, you're only going to select the one slide. Let's go ahead and open the theme editor by clicking the three dots, the more button and going to theme editor. Once the theme editor opens on the left side, we're going to see all of the individual slides in the theme. So all the individual templates in the theme. Above here, I can change which theme we're looking at. So we can go to shapes and colors, for example. This is one of the built-in themes. And you can definitely get some inspiration from these to see how some of these themes are built. So you can see in the bottom left corner, in objects, we've got these two black, these two white bars. Just like Photoshop, we can layer different stuff to create these amazing looks. Okay, back to Nathan's standard. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new uh, templates by just clicking the slide plus button. Uh, right click, you can delete it, you can rename it, you can duplicate it, and you can copy the text style. So in the middle section, I'm gonna go ahead and create new elements. Uh, we can add some more text, or we can add some shapes, like this rectangle here. I can make it like, you know, half the size of the screen or something. Well, as you can see, it takes a little bit more time to play around with uh, making a theme look good, but you can go ahead and do that. Uh, click on our text and on the right side, we can change the shapes, we can change the text and we can build animations in. So uh, there's a couple different kinds of shapes. When you go to plus here, you can add shapes to the screen. And I don't want you to be confused with this as a shape and the fact that you can make this into a shape. So the outline around the text, that can be created into a shape. So I can add a fill, I can add a stroke, I can do all that kind of stuff, add a shadow to that even. When I create a design that I really like, I'm going to go to that slide and right click. Usually it's gonna be the first slide of the song is usually where I'm gonna put my time into and then I'm just gonna apply it to the rest. So we're gonna go right click, go to themes and select the folder, the theme folder that we wanna add it to and then add selection to theme. And now we can go to themes, go to Nathan Standard and you can see it's in the bottom. So now if I go ahead and apply it, it'll apply it to all the rest of the slides in the song. Well, that's pretty much all there is for this themes and templates video. Thank you for watching, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. This will help you become notified when we release new videos. So follow us on Instagram or Facebook at Crazy Amazing Designs. We share daily content that I believe will help you learn to do production and church tech better. We'll see you guys later.